hi guys welcome back to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is going to be about what blessings are coming your way okay so pile number one you're going to be the selenite crystal pile number two you're going to be the tree agate crystal and pile number three you're going to be this uh citrine crystal okay so pause this video if you must and meditate on the crystal that you feel most drawn to and you'll be able to find a timestamp in the description box below and i will see you at your pile hi pal one welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video i would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel i really do appreciate all the love and all the support if you picked the selenite crystal pile number one this is gonna be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy from previous readings and previous piles. So we're going to smudge these bad boys first. Okay, let's smudge these bad boys. So pile number one, the first tarot deck is the Muse tarot. Then the second one is the Crystal tarot deck. And the third one is the Psychic tarot, okay? All right. Okay, so what blessings are coming to my pile number one spirit? What blessings are coming to my pile number one? What blessings are coming to my pile number one? What blessings are coming to my pile number one? Okay. So we have the night of inspiration the knight of wand strength leo energy uh the knight of material this is a knight of pentacle the five of inspiration the five of wand and the six of wand six of inspiration so a lot of success okay success on a grand scale something that you've been waiting for something that you've been working really hard for like a project that you've been like putting heart sweat and tears into and you've been waiting for a long time to see this come to fruition it's coming that blessing is almost there you're at the finish line even though you don't see it it's there i feel like you could feel it it's getting there like the momentum is getting there like i you've been waiting for a long time why i'm saying that because we have the knight of pentacle here the knight of pentacle is the slowest knight in the deck so you've been waiting for this moment it's near okay it's like near you could like i feel like you could kind of taste it but it's like you kind of like because it feels far but it's like close at the same time because you could taste it but you you haven't touched it yet so you're like what i'm feeling is like you add the frequency you finally match the frequency of your desire you're there you add the frequency that's the reason why you could feel it okay that's the reason why you could taste that blessing like i don't know why i'm saying taste it's like it's like a, a feeling that you get and you know it's there because the night of inspiration is like coming quickly you're like at the frequency. You finally was able to match yourself at the level of your blessing. So it's coming to you. You waited for a long time. You were patient because strength also represents patience. You were patient with it. You worked dil diligently in your goals. You paid attention to every little details of your goals just to make it happen. Okay. You had a lot of adversity because we have the five of inspiration. So five of one, a lot of conflict, a lot of opposition, people trying to like put like 
um, damper in your goals, try to put like doubts in you, but you kept on going. What blessings are coming to my pal number one spirit? Wow, the lovers. So a relationship could be coming. Gemini energy. What blessings coming towards my pal number one spirit? We have the page of material, page of pentacle and the ten of sword, the ten of voice. Okay, seven of seven of voice. Oh, that's like you see the fox is on this, and the fox it represents a sneaky animal. If you know anything about spiritual animal, like uh, spiritual meaning of animals, fox represents sneakiness, like conniving, being like trying to get away with something. Like the fox is like a sneaky animal. So like let's say if you come across a fox in your path, like in real life, like if you see a fox, it means somebody around you is being sneaky. So the seven of sword is like the sneaky vibe. So I feel like um you've had to encounter like sneaky behavior in like lovers, people trying to betray you, try to come into your life posing as lovers and like just in coming as like the page of pe uh, page of pentacle because the page of material is page of pentacle so i feel like you had to overcome like before this blessing came to you i feel like you had to overcome a ten of swords situation with like somebody that was sneaky that was trying to tell lies trying to get away with something okay had fox life uh behavior like two face a little bit because you see how like there's two face on the card like the other card her face here looks like she's like you know bland but on this side like when you look at this side she doesn't look too nice look at this card she doesn't look too nice on this side she looks evil but you see here on this side she looks like she doesn't look evil but she looks like she's up to something because like look at her expression she's not smiling or anything she looks like she's hiding something she's up to something and in here you see the deception in her eyes and look at the fox look at his face on this side like he's like attacking you you know vicious and this side you see how he's being sneaky he's looking at you like hmm i have something up my sleeves like, it's like this, you have to deal with people like that, okay? People that try to put damper in your plans, trying to, like, scheme against you, trying to, like, put, like, barriers in your plans. Like, they're trying to, like, bring five of, like, pentacle, not five, yeah, five of pentacle energy, even though it's not here. Like, you know, trying to make you lose money, trying to lo make you lose hope. I feel like it was really, like, th these people were trying to attack your hope because they saw the potential in you, but, like... It took you a long time to get there and you're finally there, okay? And I feel like maybe it was like a lover around you or somebody like close to you that you had like a deep connection with, a soul tie, I heard. What blessings are coming to my pal number one spirit? Wow, a new love. That's what I'm saying, lovers. Maybe like you're going to get new love, a better type of love not the same type of love that you used to get like people that always want to snake you yeah people that like you know five of one like you no longer won't have to deal with like five of one type of energy people that always want to bring conflict to your life chaos drama you're not going to deal with that anymore like yeah you're going to put that to rest like you're not going to deal with that you're going to you're going to you're going to tell people like that in your life miss me with that bs like you're not going to take that anymore yes oh my god the lovers again yes you're gonna be blessed with new love new love and also like um like a dream come true like a dream that like a project that you've been working on for a long time like i heard six years that's maybe for somebody specific that like you've been working six years on a project you're finally there you finally match your energy with that desire because Sometimes when your desire doesn't come, it's not because you're not worthy of it or it's not because you, you don't deserve it. Maybe sometimes it's because you're not, your energy does not match the frequency of what you desire. You have to match the frequency first in order to get it. Because then once you're at the frequency, it's just going to come to you naturally because it's going to be drawn to that same energy because you vibrate there. But if you don't, if you're lower or you hang around people that lowers your vibration, it's going to be hard for the blessing to catch you. Okay. So what blessings are coming from my, oh my God, guys, six of wands, victory, good news, six of inspiration twice because six of inspiration is six of wands, good news. And you're like your endeavor, you're going to be celebrated. 
That's the blessings that's coming towards you. People are going to like recognize all your hard work, your effort that you've been putting into that business, whatever business that you're, you're like trying to do or like that project that you're trying to do, that blessing is coming to fruition. You're there. I really feel like you're at the finish line. Okay. Even if you don't see it, it's there. You add the energy. Okay. Your, your vibration, like your energy has gone up. So now like you're already there. It's just a matter of like weeks or months. Just stay there. Don't like budge. Don't let nobody like try to like break you down or try to make you doubt yourself. You're there. What blessings are coming to pile number one spirit? What blessings Oh my God, life of luxury, nine of pentacle, okay? Like your life is going to change for the better. You're going to get everything that your heart desires, okay? You're going to live a beautiful life, a good life, okay? A stable life, like financial stability. I know the nine of pentacle also represents like somebody who's single, but I also feel like you're going to be single before you meet that person. Like, I feel like first your finance is going to get in order. And because your finance is going to be in order, you're going to feel good about yourself. You're going to look good. You're going to smell good. You're, you're going to smile more. You're going to be more attractive because when you smile and you feel good on the inside, that's why they say like some people are beautiful on the outside, inside and on the outside. And like, it doesn't matter like if you're not like beautiful on the inside, it doesn't matter how beautiful outside you are, it's not going to look good. Like it doesn't matter, but you're going to change your vibration. You're going to be so beautiful on the inside that your outside is going to radiate so much that like that lover is going to just gravitate towards you. Okay. It's going to match your vibration. That person that's going to come towards you is going to match that same vibration that you're on. That person's going to be loving. is going to love you the same way that you love yourself because you're going to set the tone. Okay. Pile number one. What blessings coming towards my pile number one? Wow. An emperor is coming. Somebody that's solid. That's, that wants to love you. Oh, you know what I'm just hearing? I want to love you and treat you right. I want to love you every day and every night. We'll be together. <laughs> Bob Marley. Is this love? Is this love? Is this love? Is this love that I'm feeling? That's what I'm hearing. This is nice. This is what's coming towards you. Like new love. Somebody that's like want to treat you right. That want to love you every day. Like that wants to be your emperor. Okay. Like after a long period of solitude, because we have the hermit here, because you could be a Virgo. This person could be a Virgo or an emperor. So which is Le uh, well, we have the strength here, Leo energy, but this is um, Aries energy. We have Gemini energy. So you could be you could have that energy or this person could have it, this energy. So you have new love coming in. You have new like a dream coming true, a project or a goal that you've been working on for a long period of time is finally coming to fruition for you okay this is what i'm getting what blessings are coming to my pal number one spirit what blessing uh oh it's only two okay perfect let me take it we have the ace of voice the ace of sword the truth okay the six of sword Six of swords, six of voice. You're moving away to calmer waters. And this is the truth, guys. What I just said is the truth. This is coming true for you. This is like what you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for this for a long time. You've been patient. You've been like, you believe that it's going to happen for you. But even though like you had to go through that ten of swords, it was painful ending. But like something is like something in you was letting you know that no, don't give up. You're almost there. And you follow that voice. That wisdom, okay? Because we have the owl here. Owl represents wisdom. The messenger. Because the sword is the messenger, the communicator. You knew in your heart that it was coming. And you stay true to yourself. To your dreams. To what you believe in. To what you believe that you were worthy of. That's why you're going to get that lover. And you're going to get that like blessings. That, that dream that you wanted to make come true. You're going to get that. It's going to happen for you. Like I said, you're already at this, the vibration of your desire. You're there. You're vibrating there. You're really like, 
you basically you did your part like the part of manifestation because you have to work hand in hand with the universe in order to manifest your goal you can't just sit back and let the universe do all the work you have to meet the universe halfway so basically you already did your part now you just have to stay there and trust that the universe will bring will come back like will bring you what you put out whatever that you put out the universe is going to match that so just trust that it's getting there you're going to like you're right there just trust that's all you have to do now is just like be patient and trust and stay there and don't let nobody like tamper with your like goals or your energy you're there what blessings no, that's too, that just came out like out of nowhere what blessings are coming to my pal yes thank you wow we have eight of um that's the eight of sword yes so this is what it is do not let fear get to you the eight of sword it's all in your mind do not let that fear get to you okay that's what it's saying eight of like the tra uh, trapped in fear don't let fear get to you don't let like just the fact that you could feel it but you're not seeing it don't let that temper with your goal don't let that temper with your faith you're there don't let that get in your head if you let that get in your head you're gonna like lower your vibration and that's how you can miss the blessing but you're already there so don't let that fear of like oh am i gonna miss it like no you're not gonna miss it you're right there okay you're at the finish line that's what i kept on saying because that's the energy that i felt when i started the reading i felt like you were like you were there like because I know that feeling when you're about to receive your manifestation, there's a feeling, it's a specific feeling. If you know when you manifest, you know that feeling. It's like in your um, heart chakra, it's there. It's like something that's like brewing, manifesting there, like an energy that's like bursting. And that's like letting, that's your signal, letting you know that you're there. So you're already there, okay? If you feel that, that urge, that feeling, it's that manifestation that's taking place in you. And now it just means that your vibration just has risen. So you're there. So do not fear. Do not let fear get to you, okay? Don't let, it's all in your head, okay? You see that person is like holding their head back. It's in your mind. It's not real, okay? You're there at the finish line, Okay, so pile number one, this is all I have for you. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pile number one. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. So pile number two, if you pick the tree agate, this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry for moving the camera. Sorry, guys. So, the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So that way we don't pick up the energy from previous readings and previous piles. Oh, this lighter is just the worst. So we're going to smudge these bad boys. So starting from the left, we have the Muse Tarot. The middle tarot deck is the Crystal Tarot. And on the right is the um, Psychic Tarot, okay? So pile number two, what blessings are coming your way? What blessings are coming your way? My pal number two. What blessings are coming your way? What blessings are coming your way? Um, that's way too many cards. But this one came up right, so I'll take it. 
What blessings? What blessings are coming your way? Okay. So we have here. Let's see. Oh, let's just put them in order in which they came out. Okay. So we have the two of inspiration. So that's the two of one. The ten of material. So the ten of pentacle. This card is so beautiful. Look at that. The tree with those beautiful roses and people gathering around. So like family. Um, and the knight of pen the nine of material, the nine of pentacle. So obviously you see this woman joyful and all these like beautiful roses, abundance. Um, the temperance, Sagittarius energy. Okay, this card is beautiful too. Look at that. And then we have the two of sword, mental conflict. So you're being blessed. Your blessing that's coming is after a long period of like um, putting things together, coming up with a plan, um, like planning for the future because this is like somebody that's looking to the future, looking ahead after a period of confusion, not knowing where to go, which path to take, like blindfolded, you're about to walk into abundance. Okay. Material success. And I feel like, um, it's going to be like, um, your home life, your stable life. Like maybe, um, you're going to move into a new home. Maybe you've been looking for a new place to stay. I'm getting like an apartment. Maybe you're going to move into a new condo or a new house. Or maybe you're going to get a new car. I'm getting a, like a vehicle as well. Maybe you're going to get married. It could also represent 10th of the um, uh, pentacle could represent marriage. Like a financial, like a stable family home. Like getting everything, like all that your wish come true. Living a life of luxury after a long period of like waiting. You've waited for this. You've been patient because we have the temperance here. You were patient with it. You were a little bit confused because we see this two of sword is here. There was a lot of confusion, okay? Because I feel like you didn't know which way to go at one point and you were planning ahead. You had to wait because there was like a period of indecision because of the two of sword was here. Maybe indecision on your end or on the person's end. Like if it's like related to like a proposal or a marriage. Maybe like you weren't sure if you wanted to marry this person or this person wasn't sure. Or maybe there was like, there was like a delay somewhere. But your blessing is relating to material success. What blessings coming towards my pal number two? Oh wow, the ace of sword. And the ace of cups. Guys, Ace of Swords represents the truth. So it's like financial success and emotional success because we have the Ace of Emotions. So a renewed in your emotions, a renewed on how you feel about yourself, how you view the world, how you view yourself in love. Maybe you've been through hardship and then like you kind of lost hope when it came to love, but your sense of like love and friendship is going to be renewed. That's the blessing that's coming towards you. A new cup of love. Like loving relationships. Like solid foundations. Yes. You see six of inspiration. Six of wands. So being celebrated by people. Being loved. Giving love and receiving love. Receiving accolades. Like people celebrating you. Wanting to be around you. Cherish. Like people cherishing you. Like celebrating your victories. Your success. Where people like do not hate on you. Or like jealous of you. Or envy you. Or like try to like take from you. That's what you're getting. That's what you're being blessed with. People that genuinely want to be around you. And see you happy. Okay. Because ten of pentacles. Like I said. Represents family. But also friends. People like want, genuinely want to be around you and see you like do good, not worrying about you like doing like better than them. They're not, there's no competition. Okay. You're being blessed with a new support system where people actually want to see you win, want to see you shine. The queen of material. Wow, guys. Queen of pentacle. So you could definitely be um, a Sagittarius here or, or um, 
Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus because the Queen of Pentacles is here. Queen of Material. So your fa your family life. That's where I'm going back to your family life. So you could be a I heard single parent. If you are a single parent, like your family life is gonna get better. You're gonna get the support system that you need, like in order to help you with your child. So maybe you're struggling like with babysitting, like you need like people to help you with like maybe like help you when you need to go do groceries and stuff like that, where you need somebody to watch your child for you, like somebody that you could trust that you know that's not gonna hurt your baby. Like you like you're gonna get those people. These people are gonna be around you. That's for somebody specific that probably has children. If you don't have kids, that's not that doesn't apply to you. So just remember this a general reading um so that's what i'm getting but also if it's not children just like your family life you're like you're in your family like so maybe your siblings is good like you're gonna have a better relationship with your siblings your parents maybe it's gonna get better or if it's not that just like your neighbors like the, your people around you your neighbors are gonna be more loving um you're gonna be blessed with people like wanting to help you do things make things happen in your life it's going to be easier for you to accomplish your goals, to make things happen because people are going to be more willing to work with you and like help you accomplish your goals. That's what I'm getting. Like your, your ability is going to get better. Your um, support system is going to get stronger and you're going to like rise up from any challenges. You're going to have all the help that you need to make anything happen in your life. All your dreams like that you want to make come true. Yes, it's going to happen rapidly. It's going to happen quickly. You're going to get some form of communication. We have the seven of cups. You're going to have a lot of offers. Okay. Yes. A lot of offers are coming towards you. What are, what are blessings are coming to my, towards my, oh my God. We have. Okay. So let's just go with the cards that we have. So I'm just going to put these cards here. Um, okay so it's gonna happen really quickly you're gonna have a lot of offers when it comes to also love you're gonna have like a lot of like suitors that's what i'm getting whether male or female like the opposite sex or even same sex is going to be more attracted to you more responsive to you like when you're going to go on dates you're going to have like beautiful dates okay even though if you don't end up with them like in a relationship but the experience that you get when you go dating with people like it's going to be amazing experiences people are going to make you feel good like you you're going to feel good about yourself you're going to like the people that you hang around with you're going to love the like you're going to love the experience that you get with these people so like it's not going to be like where you go on a date and this person is like a total a-hole or like just no manners and stuff like that it's going to be like beautiful like the person's going to respect you it's going to want to like like make a good first impression on you so that way like the relationship even if it doesn't get to lovers maybe you get to keep them as a friend in your life so you're going to make good contact okay that's the blessings towards you like great people that are going to come to you and like just make your life easier more fun to be to live like you're going to have like great that's from keep getting great experiences okay equal give and take people are going to be equally to you they're not going to just take from you they're going to give to you the same that you put out that's the same that you're going to get in your relationship okay you're going to have like a strong influence on people okay the influence that you're going to have is going to be subtle you're not going to have to use excessive force. You're going to have, you're not going to have to like, um, like plead or bargain with people or lower like your expectation to get what you want. Like people are going to treat you like the empress or I'm not, I don't even know why I'm saying empress, but like queen of pentacle is like, um, like close to impress energy. So they're going to treat you with respect, loving. You're not going to have to worry about the three of sword. You're not going to worry about heartbreak anymore. Okay, you're not going to worry about people trying to lie and cheat and gossip about you. I heard like gossip. I don't know why I don't see like the page of sword, but I heard gossip. Like you're not going to deal with that anymore. You're not going to deal with shady people. What blessings are coming towards my pile number two spirit? What blessings are coming towards my pile number two? What blessings are coming towards my pile number two? Yes, you see the two of cups, two of emotion. So you're no longer going to be in your head, the ace of sword. So you were probably in your head for a long time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, hesitancy. Because the two of sword is here. You were probably in your head about something. Something kept you up at night. Because you, you were not sure about a decision. 
something that was supposed to happen. You were like, um, we have a lot of two, two, two. We have two, two, two. So two of sword. Uh, no, we have two, four times. We have all the twos. So we have two of sword, two of pentacle, two of cups, and two of wands. Two, 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 two. So this is like relationship. So this is like something like, because twos represents partnership, cooperation, working together, balance, harmony. So something in your life was like probably out of balance and kept you up at night. Maybe you had a, like a lot of like bad relationship or like one-sided relationship where people were not, like it was not an equal give and take. And that like made you feel like maybe something was wrong with you or you were just attracting the wrong people. But I'm here to tell you that it was not you. It was just like maybe lessons that you were supposed to learn in order to elevate. And now you're being blessed with like a harmonious relationship. That's why I keep kept on getting like a relationship, like your family life, your support system is going to get better. You, you're going to be able to overcome what you've been through. Okay. The three of sword heartbreak betrayal i don't i didn't see the seven of sword here but i feel like there was like betrayal in your past something that like um kept you up at night okay in bondage where you felt like trapped but like a um, good relationship are coming towards you okay harmonious relationship two of cups type of relationship equal give and take six of pentacle equal give and take type of relationship okay People are, gonna, are not going to juggle you like they used to. Put you like second best or anything like that. Like you're not going to have to deal with those type of relationship anymore. You're going to deal with people that are truthful, that actually want to be in your life. Like I said, that actually want to see you win. What blessings are coming towards my pal number two spirit? So we have the world here. Wow, you see, like I said, seven of sword type of people, the hangman, people that kept you up at night, that did some sneaky ish behind your back. You had to deal with people like that. And it was like, it, I think it kind of like, um, not mess with your self-esteem, but kind of like it made you feel like something was wrong with you, but there's nothing wrong with you. It's just those people that didn't have integrity. Okay. It's, it has nothing to do with you. How people behave is who they are. Okay, it's not a reflection of who you are. You just have to keep in mind that not everybody is like you. Not everybody has the same mind as you. They're not going to treat you the same way that you would treat them just because you're like that. Okay, like sometimes it's just these people are there for lessons to teach you, like to show you that like you don't need to rely on these people for your, your worth. Like you're worthy of respect regardless if these people show you respect or not. If they don't show you respect, you know to move and walk away from this and you're changing your perspective. That's what I'm getting. You changed your perspective. You changed your mind. The way you thought about something. You had a new emotional renewal in love. That's why the Ace of Cups was here. And it's it's like something that's going to take you by surprise. And it's going to come like on a big scale. Like you're going to get global. Like maybe you're following maybe on Instagram. Or I don't know why I'm getting Instagram. But maybe you're going to get a bigger following. People are going to show you love online as well. You're going to get more fans. People are going to love you. Like after like that seven of sword energy. That's why I said I felt the seven of sword. That energy. I felt it. Even though it didn't come out right away. But I felt it. You're going to be able to get over that. Get like. That's why I said the ace of cups. A renewal in love. You're going to get that. You're going to be able to move past that experience that you had. Okay. So what blessings are coming towards my pal number two spirit? What blessings? Yes, after discontent and boredom, after a period of like feeling like um, the four, because discontent, discontent and boredom is the four of cups. Okay, after a period of like, you know, feeling like you missed out on love, missed out your opportunity on love, you're going to get like a second chance at love, like a second chance of like getting like your, your dream come true, like your blessing come true. Because I feel like at a one point you were like really doubting that you, this was going to happen for you. It's going to happen for you. That's the blessing that's coming for you. 
a new chance at love, a new um, opportunity at love. And like, it's really up to you if you're going to take it, okay? Because at the end of the day, you have free will, okay? This is just, like I said, it's a general reading. If it does resonate with you, like you have free will. Either you could like continue to not look at your blessings because look at that, we have the rainbow here. So it's behind you. You could just continue to like look at what you lost in the past and all the hurt or you could take that new cup of love, that new cup of love and emerge from the waters and like replenish yourself and like let love in again. It's really up to you. But this is the blessing that's coming towards you. A new sense of like a re renewal in love. And love doesn't have to be only relationship with uh, like a partner. It could be friendship. Like, you know, a new companion, like a dog. It could be a dog your new love it doesn't have to be a person and that's like love like dogs are loyal they love you they will always be there for you they'll fight for you like somebody trying to attack you, your dog is going to be the first one to defend you so that's love that's like another form of love so you could be blessed with that as well okay it doesn't have to be like a partner like i said okay so that's all i have for you pile number two i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pile number two bye hi pal three welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel and donating to my channel as well. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. So, pile number three, if you pick the citrine crystal, this is going to be your reading, okay? So, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so that way we don't pick up the energy from previous readings and previous piles, okay? So let's get started. Pile number three. So the first tarot deck from the left to the right is going to be um, the Muse tarot and... The second one, the middle one, is the Crystal Tarot deck. And the far right is the um, Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, okay? So what blessings are coming towards you, my pal number three? What blessings are coming towards my pal number three, Spirit? What blessings are coming towards my pile number three? What blessings are coming towards my pile number three? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so we have the 10 of inspiration in reverse, the world, um, the world cosmos, so the world card, muse of emotion, so it's kind of like the ace of cups, um, and the ace of material, so the ace of pentacle, and then we have the emperor here, so you could definitely be um, an Aries here. Or have fire in your chart. So what blessings is coming towards you is like a burden is being lifted. Because the 10 of inspiration is the 10 of wands. So it's in reverse. So you're letting go of a burden or a burden is being released from your life. 
This is the blessing that's coming towards you. And because that bless that burden is being released from your life, it's going to propel you. When it's going to release, it's going to propel you back to the top because it's going to be lifted off of your shoulders. So you won't have to deal with that anymore. So it could be anything, whatever in your life that has been burdening you is going to be lifted. It's going to be removed from your life. You're going to have a new sense of renewal. And I could feel like maybe it's like financial hardship because we have the ace of material here. So a new financial opportunity. So a new job, maybe you're going to be blessed with a new job or you're going to get a promotion. I'm getting a promotion heavily because we have the emperor here. So like a like manager position or supervisor position, but a higher position, a higher paying position that you're actually in. Or if you are looking for a job, uh, like you're going to get the job that you want. The job that you had your eye on, maybe you had a lot of interviews and like you felt like maybe you were not going to get it, but you're going to get that job. So you'll be able to like financial support yourself. You're going to be able to pay your bills. I feel like maybe you were going through something like a really like big burden, like a real hardship that you didn't know how you're going to get through through this. But this is the blessing that's coming towards you a new financial opportunity so it could also be a form of like a, a loan maybe like you apply for a loan is going to fall through i'm getting that like i i got like a car loan like maybe you apply to get a new car you're going to get it i'm getting that you're just going to fall through like you're going to get that car loan okay so pile number three what blessings are coming towards you what blessings are coming towards my pile number three spirit? What blessings are coming towards my pile number three? So we have the nine of inspiration. So this is a beautiful card. So this is um, the nine of wand. We have the devil. Ooh, Capricorn energy. But this card is beautiful. It was the devil. It's so beautiful. I like it though. It looks nice. You know? So something that you probably were working really hard at. Yeah, the two of pentacle. And the eight of sword. So this is like really financial. I'm really getting like a job. Maybe you were working at a um in your in a position where you were underpaid and um, like you felt trapped because the devil could also represent somebody feeling trapped, um, not being uh, like celebrated at work, underpaid, um, like in a toxic situation, work environment. So maybe like you're, you're trying to like you applied for this promotion because it was going to help you get to a different department where you'll be able to work with different people, people that are like in the same vibration as you think like you, not people that are low vibing where they gossip and stuff like that. I feel like maybe in your work environment, current work environment, there's a lot of gossip, like people talking, chatting, like, and you don't want to be part of that. You want to move into like, I feel like you don't want to quit your job because I feel like the job that you currently have, like the company that you work with is a great company. Company. you just want to change departments so that way you can get away from these people and you're gonna get that it's going to happen i feel like this job really stressed you out if it's like a work related or if it's a relationship because i'm not really getting it's a relationship but if it's a relationship you're going to be able to get out of this relationship i feel like if it is a relationship, there is something holding you back. So maybe you do share a home with this person. So you kind of like not depending on them, but like they pay half the rent. So you kind of feel like responsible if you're going to move and get out of this relationship that you need to like let this person know that it's over and that you're going to have to part ways. But like you kind of feel guilty for doing that. But you have to think of yourself. You can't like just like let people like abuse you or like get like uh, take advantage of you while you're the one struggling holding everything together because the night of inspiration is the night of one the wounded warrior so you don't want to be like just stating there be all in, in your mind like like putting yourself through hell for someone else when this person is not like a good fit for you like you you're allowed to put yourself first there's nothing wrong with putting yourself for like yourself first okay you have to know your self-worth i'm getting like you're getting that. You're le lifting up this burden. You're getting back to yourself, okay? Getting back to your emperor status where you took control of your life, took control of your finances, took control of your mind. Because I feel like the situation kept you up at night because we have the eight of sword here. And it's like, and it came on top of the ace of uh, material, ace of pentacle. So it's like money related. 
you're going to get that promotion. You're going to get that new job. You're not going to be around these people anymore. Yes, you're going to get your justice. What blessings are coming towards my pal number? I saw this um, ace of sword again, but it didn't come out. But justice here, the sun here. So definitely Libra or Leo energy. What blessings? Yes, after of painful situation, the ten of sword and the ten of the the king of cups. So I'm getting here like if it's a relationship, I'm getting like this person betrayed you, okay? And now you're trying to move to calmer waters. You're not trying to be in this relationship anymore. And you're you're hoping for a better like position. Maybe you need a new job in order to like save up money in order to buy like to move to a new home that's what i'm getting like if you're in a toxic relationship like the relationship is already over you already know in your mind that it's over but you're kind of like stuck a little bit because the devil's here because you need to save up money to get out of this relationship and move into a better like house or a better place just you by yourself and it's going to happen you're going to make this happen you're going to get your justice okay you, this is going to happen and you're going to be happy. You're going to be able to celebrate, okay? You're going to get success from this after this 10 of sword experience, okay? Right on top of the ace of sword. So that kept you up at night. It was painful ending for you. And you're finally letting go of that burden. That's why the 10 of one is there. So you probably see 10, 10 a lot because 10, 10 means something better is coming. So it is something that something better that you've been hoping for is coming. That's the blessing that's coming towards you. New financial success. Like, I don't feel like it's new love. It's, if it's new love, it's more self-love. Self more for yourself, okay? You're probably going to meet somebody that's going to be able, be able to help you. You're probably going to need, like, counseling if it was, like, something like abuse or anything like that. Because I'm kind of getting, not for everybody, but for someone Maybe some people, a few of you, like it was abusive relationship, verbal abuse. You're going to be able to get counseling or find somebody that's going to be able to help you heal from that. But like the blessing that I'm getting mostly is like a new beginning, a new financial beginning for you. Whether it's a form of like a new job, a promotion, a new home, a new place to stay, where you could start fresh, where you could do get back to yourself, get back to what you used to do before you met this person or like if it's like a position where there's like people that were like bashing you, speaking ill of you, like gossiping about you at work, you no longer will have to deal with these people anymore. Like the new people that you're going to be working with are going to match your energy. They're going to be more loving towards you. That's what I'm getting. What blessings are coming towards my... Oh my God. The star here. What blessings are coming towards my pal number three spirit? What blessings are coming towards my pal number three? What blessings are coming towards my pal number three? Wow. What blessings are coming towards my pal number three? I heard upright. Wow. 666. Six, six. I think I just... Four. Yeah, there is... Um, okay, so we have the star here. We have the eight of cups, the, the empress, the six of sword and the six of pentacle. So you're going to be able to move to calmer waters. That's what I was getting. Cause I did say that you were going to move to calmer waters after that, that devil energy, that ten of sword energy, you're going to be able to manifest the life that you, you always dreamed of. And you're going to be able to heal from this. You're going to be able to let go of, like I said, you're going to let go of the burden and the headache and the heartache. Your heart is no longer going to be heavy. That's what I'm getting. You're going to be able to get a, that, like I said, the new emotional um, feeling. You're going to get a new like beginning in love, in, in finances. You'll be able to manifest like all your dreams. You'll be abundant. That's the blessing that's coming towards you. Like equal give and take in your relationship. I feel like also I did say that I didn't see love, but we do have a partnership here. We have the emperor and the empress. Okay. Your counterpart. Maybe after this, you'll be able to meet your counterpart. Once you like 
are in your star energy, Aquarius energy. We have Libra and um, Taurus energy here. We have Libra twice, so you could definitely be a Libra here or have double Libra in your chart. You will be able to get back to yourself, to heal your heart. That's what I'm getting. Somebody's going to help you. Maybe you're going to, like, I, I don't know why I keep going back to counseling. Maybe you're going to go into counseling and, like, heal your heart. Be able to talk about the situation, the traumas that you've been through in order to lift this burden from your heart and never look back. To be able to say, I forgive you and actually mean it. When you say, I forgive this person or I forgive this situation or I forgive myself for putting myself in that situation. Okay, because maybe you might feel guilty. Maybe you feel like it's your fault, but it's not your fault. It was just an experience that you maybe you needed to learn to grow as a person, as a soul. It's not really your fault, okay? That's what I'm getting. What blessings are coming towards my pal number three spirit? What blessings? Wow, the ace of sword, the truth, the hermit. You've been in hermit mode for a long time. Yes, the queen of material, the queen of pentacle. Yes, you're going to get like, that's like Taurus energy here. Yeah, the lovers. Wow, that's the blessing. That's what I'm getting. You are you are going to meet that count counterpart. Because we have the emperor here. And so the emperor and the empress. The lovers, your twin flame, your twin flame soulmate energy, queen of pentacle, like financial success and emotional success. This ace of sword. Okay, you're gonna get mental clarity. You'll be able to think clearer. Your mind is gonna be sharper. You're gonna be able to trust yourself, trust your decision, and trust that based on the experience of life that you have, you're able to make better decisions, better choices. That's gonna render better results for you. You'll be able to do that because of all the wisdom that you've gained from solitude, staying by yourself, and like using your inner wisdom as a compass to navigate life. You're going to be blessed because you trusted yourself. You'll be able to, you trust yourself to let go. It was probably hard for you to let go because you were so used to being in that devil energy. Because you probably got comfortable because that's all you knew. But you took a leap of faith and you let go of this burden. Okay, you let go and then you trusted that the universe was going to bring you something better. And now the universe is blessing you with a new love, financial abundance, success. Okay, you're going to get a lot of success. When it comes to the, like, because you did the healing, I feel like you went to the dark night of the soul. You had to do some healing because we have the ace of, the, the eight of sword here. You were in your head for a long time. And then the hermit also represents the, night, the dark night of the soul. So you had to go through that. You had to go through some rebirth. And you did the inner work to heal yourself. And it took you a long time. It was like a dark place. You were by yourself for a long time. And you actually got yourself out of that situation. You got yourself out of that ten of sword energy. And you healed from this. Okay? And because you healed from this, you actually healed your heart. Even if you're, you're not completely healed, but you're starting the journey of being healed. You did the first steps. Recognizing that there is a pain in you that needs to be released. That's a part of healing. Just the first step of healing. That's still, that's still healing. Even though that's just the beginning, it's still the first step. So the, the universe is about to meet you halfway. Just keep going. Just keep working, putting on the work. That hurt, that emperor is coming, that lover, that, that's going to be true to you. That's not going to bring you the ten of sword energy. That's not going to keep, that's not going to break your heart and have you confused. You're going to meet that emperor. He's coming. But you have to be his match, the empress, Okay. In order for you to be his match, you have to heal. And that's what you're doing right now. You're healing. And this is the reason why you're getting this blessing. That new financial opportunity that's going to put you in the right path. Wow. Because you've been suffering in silence. That's the night of wand. You've been suffering in silence. You've been doing this alone. Okay. You, you did the work. You did the inner work. You did all the work that you needed to do in order to heal yourself. You did not complain. You, 
you kept your head down and you did the work that needed to be done in order to heal your heart from the heartache that you went through. You did not blame anybody. You did not like try to cause pain to other people because that's important in order to get your blessings. You can't like justify the fact that you've been hurt. It's okay for me to go and hurt other people because somebody hurt me. You didn't do that. You, you kept your heart pure. You just released the burden and believed that the universe was going to give you something better. You let go of the devil energy. That's something that was holding you back, the toxicity. You suffered in silence and you brought yourself out of that toxic energy. And you release the burden. You let it go. Because like we see we have the nine of so the knight of uh one twice. You are like the wounded warrior. You actually like release that burden. You got the, you got to the ten of wand, and then you were able to let it go and not take it with you. And now you're being blessed. You're being blessed with a new relationship, and you're being blessed with new love and new financial stability. Okay, that's what you're getting. So that's all I have for you, pile number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pile number three. Bye.